So you've been longing for a little shrimp companion, and now that you've impulsively bought him, you're wondering, what do I feed him? Is room temperature the right temperature? And what should his tank look like? All these questions and more will be answered throughout the video, so please stay tuned. When it comes to temperature, shrimp would rather live in between temperatures of 65 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 to 29 degrees Celsius and they live within a pH of 6.5 to 8.2. However, to keep the shrimp happy, I recommend keeping the temperatures in the lower range. Now, when it comes to food, shrimp will pretty much eat anything. Once cut up into little pieces, cucumbers and other vegetables make great food for shrimp. However, if you wanna go down the traditional route, you can just feed them any type of fish food and they'll eat it just fine. Algae is a great light snack for shrimp, but shouldn't be used as their main course as it doesn't provide enough nutrients. How often do you feed shrimp? Personally, I don't feed shrimp that often, but Google says they should be eating two to three hours per day, which I think is a little absurd. Personally, I think it'd be okay just to give them a piece of food every few days or just once a week. Before I move on to their tank requirements, I just wanted to point out that cherry shrimp only live one to two years. How many shrimp should you get? Honestly, get as many as you want. There's not really much of a limit as to how much you can get. Obviously, if you start getting hundreds, there's a problem, but having a dozen or two won't hurt. When it comes to tank requirements, even though they can fit in very tight places, I would recommend giving them as much space to roam around as possible to ensure you have the happiest of shrimps. So probably about 10 gallons or five should be the minimum. This is for a lot, of course. When it comes to recreating their habitat, stones, branches, and plants are definitely going to help. For comparison, this is what a shrimp habitat looks like in the wild. Hopefully you'll get inspired by their natural habitat and make it into their home. One important thing I forgot to mention is to make sure you have a filter or just a mini sponge filter along with the clean air entering the tank. If you have any questions about shrimp, just ask me in the comments and I'll make sure to reply.